What's up everybody? It's Henry coming to you with another video from the PSI Defense Channel. Appreciate you tuning in. Doing a little quick video on my trap. I know a lot of people have asked me a bunch of questions about my trap um, here in my dirty garage firing range. Um, it's good to have something very stable and sturdy that you can uh, test fire your Grimbergs into or, or your riot balls or whatever you're shooting. Um, because sometimes these markers are a bit loud and they can sound like firearms being shot in your backyard. So if you have neighbors like I do and you want to be respectful, um, I want to rig something up for the indoor. So I'm going to do a little video showing you what's going on. I've got a new modified flap in there with some Kevlar and some high grade vinyl uh, layers stitched up together. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot the FSC carbine into it a little bit, maybe do a little chronographing see what's happening just have a little fun a little short video all the videos don't need to be serious all the time okay guys so here's my trap what I did I took a couple 50 gallon barrels on the floor so they had a uh, floral preservative and flower food in them but basically what I did is I cut some divots into the bottom one that I was going to use as the base and the, and the shape that would fit the top one Cut a trap door in it and then a little slot so I can recover my rounds. I drilled a couple holes. I've been trying all kinds of different fabrics. I tried uh, jeans, towels, sheets, blankets, carpet, leather, double walled steel, and my less lethal firearms have uh, obliterated them all. So, got some Kevlar, got some high grade vinyl, furniture grade vinyl, and they're, they're sandwiched in here like this, Kevlar vinyl, Kevlar vinyl, and there's two layers of that. So I think uh, I should be all right. When I first put the test sheet of Kevlar in there, as you can see, it didn't actually ripped through the Kevlar but the impact just frayed it to bits and the wooden dowel rods I guess I was, I was hitting it here but it was exerting so much force on the wooden dowel rods that it was snapping the dowel rods from getting hit there so I went ahead and got a nylon nylon rod stuck through there so we'll see how long that lasts see how this holds up I really can't imagine anything less lethal going through this and it, unless it's maybe a Rex P or some or a Texas or something like that all right guys I'm going to go ahead and uh, gas up the carbine and shoot some rounds all right guys so as you can see I've got the FSC carbine out today with my 2 times 12 gram CO2 adapter um, got it turned down a little bit I think I'll be shooting probably a little over 300 throughout the entire 15 round mag so I am going to uh, chrono a few shots, but it's mainly just to test out the uh, Kevlar and um, vinyl sandwich that I got in there to catch my rounds. What I've got loaded in here, my last four shots, I've got four gram riot balls. Then I've got 12 shots, let's see, four, I'm sorry, then I've got 11 Grimberg Jewels, and then the beautiful thing about a Grimberg Jewel uh, with these first strike launchers is you can put one in the breech before you stick the mag in there. Put it upside down, drop it in the handle, put your mag in, then you've got one in the head. So that's a total of 16. I've got 12 Grimberg Jewels. I've got four riot balls. The reason I put the lighter rounds at the end of the of the clip is because you know with the lower with the lower pressure that you have with having expended so much of your CO2. Um, they don't come out of your muzzle looking like slugs. So, all right, gonna charge it up. All right, I heard it pierce. Then you keep turning as much as possible. And I feel the front here to make sure both CO2s are pierced because sometimes you can just pierce the back one. Six. 
Must be at the uh, four gram, three seventy eight. So I have enough CO2 after that for about 10 rounds, 9, 10 shots, but I really don't want to go any higher than that with this 2 by 12 gram CO2 because I'm concerned about my bolt. Kurt from Grimberg said that uh, running a 2 by 12 gram CO2 can break the firing bolt. And uh, uh, Junior also said that too. So I'm going to just keep it, I mean, try to keep it in the low 300s, which is plenty. I mean, as you see, I'm getting 35 to 40 joules. The lowest shots that I got with the uh, Grimbergs were in the 290s. That's like 27 to 29 joules. Uh, I'll probably, uh, maybe in the description, I'll put um, what the actual muzzle velocity in joules was, or the muzzle energy, rather. So. That's my video. Hope you guys liked it. If you appreciate the content I'm putting out, give me a like and a subscribe. If you want to see whenever I'm putting out new videos, as you can see, I'm putting them out more regularly now. Um, hit the bell. Get a notification so you can see when we put new stuff out. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take care of yourselves.